being a freelancer can be challenging doing all the business stuff as an artist. Uh, in art school, they don't hardly talk about marketing and business aspects of uh, working as an artist. So in this segment, let's talk about what those freelancing options include. Uh, going in school, I would just I thought of the basics, you know, children's books, animation. I just uh, hadn't been exposed to all of the opportunities that come as a freelancer. So I would like to explore those today with you guys. Uh, these aren't the only ways to make money as an illustrator, but they're what I am aware of currently and some of the things that I've had experience with. So I wanted to start with client work and go over different types of client work that you can be asked to do. So there's game designs, video games and board games, card games, uh, need a lot of illustrations done. Magazine illustrations, I like doing them because they often pay decently and it's quick. And it's not nearly as long-winded as children's books. So and you're not working with the writer of the article. You're usually working with the art director. And in my experience, they've been a bit more chill to work for. Uh, and then, obviously, there's children's books. And on children's books, endurance is key. It's like a marathon in the illustration world, if you ask me. Like I was saying, they can be sort of, it can be sort of hard to please the uh, authors uh, because they've had a vision of this world and story that they've created and sometimes they can get a little bit picky but it depends on the author or the publishing company that you're working with usually you get royalties with children's books so that can be a bonus or not if you're not getting a very big advance sorry about my child in the background Uh, just trying to balance work life mom stuff uh, middle school covers, middle um, YA covers. Chapter books include the black and white illustrations. They often don't include a, ro- a royalty. Uh, something I hadn't considered before doing my first chapter book was that there is a lot more content, so a lot more specifications to deal with. It can be kind of fun to read through and have an exact idea of what the world and characters are because it's more spelled out than in a children's book where you have less text to work off of. But then, of course, the authors have even more specific things that they want included because they have thought through all of the details. So that's a brief overview of children's books. We can talk more about that later. But there's also like podcast covers and other random things that you wouldn't think of like blog icons. Uh, logos, there are lots and lots of opportunities for logo designs if you like working with text. I'm not crazy about it, but some people like it, and there's a lot of work for that. Character designs for short films, that can be really fun. Marketing and advertising illustrations. I heard of a guy who created illustrations for specific brands and products he liked, and then he would approach the company and ask if they wanted to pay him to use those illustrations for their marketing. And then if they didn't, they were great portfolio pieces. So I thought that was a good idea, if that's something that interests you. Then you can do t-shirt designs for companies, art for apps, murals. If you really like that, you could consider painting theater sets, movie sets, photography backdrops. I've done a bit of all of those, and it can be fun, especially if you're interested in textures. So like, make this look like wood, or make this look like marble, like it can be kind of interesting to uh, try to replicate those textures that's mainly for the uh, photography I mean for the movie sets and theater sets murals are often yeah creative with murals it's hard because you can run into like copyright things most people want like Disney murals and um, I don't think that that's actually legal to copyright those characters and make money off of it but we can talk about copyright in a future video. Okay, and then aside from client work, that was just kind of a basic overview. There's passive income commissions and Patreon. Those are some other things that I've thought of that could bring in a little bit of income. I don't have a lot of Patreon experience, but I hear it's a lot of work to keep up content for your supporters. So they give you a bit of a donation, and depending on how much you're donating per month, you get certain perks and behind-the-scenes glimpses into their work. But so you're you have these people that are paying per month, so they're require like expecting monthly 
uh, creation, monthly, uh, yep, for you to produce monthly content. Okay, and then commissions. This could be a long rant in its own video. Let me know if that interests you and I I didn't put it under client work because I don't really think of them as clients. There's hardly ever a contract involved. It's often low budget unless you're really lucky. It's often family portraits, characters, gifts for friends, drawings of people's animals, but mostly family portraits. If you're going to do them, make sure you set limits to how many alterations you're going to allow or tell them how much you're going to charge for those changes and alterations because uh, that can get really timely and you can get stuck on a project for weeks and weeks, I know from experience. And uh, that was it's only going to pay one or $200 possibly and that's not awesome. Also, unless you're wanting to do family porches forever, it's not really helping you reach your goals unless you feel you want the practice, but it's better to practice doing exactly what you love so that you can at least have something for your portfolio. Also, getting a likeness is hard. So if they're asking for a family portrait and they really want it to look like who it's supposed to look like, like this is really a challenging thing. And here comes the rant. <laughs> there are billions of people in this world. 7.6 billion as of 2018. And only in Parent Trap do you run into people who look exactly the same. We all have eyes, a nose, a mouth, and yet our faces all look completely different. Therefore, to draw something that looks exactly like who it's supposed to is really, really hard. <laughs> so it's silly that this thing that's really challenging to do is paying so little. I mean, it makes sense because these people don't have giant budgets. But from our side of view, it's possibly not worth it. So if you want to do commissions for your first couple years, that is great. But you don't want to get stuck doing them in... It's good to practice saying no at the beginning because as you get further on and you're just used to saying yes to a lot of projects, it can be difficult. But if you're needing a little extra side cash, it's not per se like a bad thing to do at first. Okay, so then there's passive income. There is lots of ways to try to get a little passive income. Passive income would just be something that you're Getting a little bit here and there without having to do work. You do the work once and then you get paid for it later. So Society6, Redbubble, uh, Create Space is interesting one that not a lot of people talk about. You can create your own book, soft cover books, and publish them on Amazon and they will print and ship them for you the royalties are small you're not going to make millions on this unless you have like a large following to direct to it or if you think of something that's in like a really niche market that people are going to be searching on amazon for but those products do go up on prime so they're shipping it people aren't paying extra for shipping if they have prime and you create it put it on there and sit back uh i make I don't know, $100 a month on there because it's like a dollar each purchase. I have a lot on there though, like a lot of different books because I've had to try out different niches and different things. Like if you just put up a normal children's book, like I put up just my children's book, which is uh, The Girl Who Had Almost uh, Everything. Oh. And, uh, sorry, my daughter. Uh, and that one nobody knows to sign to look for that or to find it or if they see it they have no idea what that's about whereas if you give them something with a title that like they know what they're going to get like a Christmas book they know that it's going to be about Christmas um, I will continue talking about passive income in the next little segment so sorry about my daughter but gotta do what you gotta do see you in the next video